Hey guys, TechMan Travolta video for you guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to fix the time zone not updating or spinning on your iPhone. So if you go into setting of your iPhone, go to general, click on date and time, you might notice that the time zone here isn't updating automatically and it's just spinning here. The only way to update it is by setting it manually, which might not be ideal. So you might want to set it automatically. So how can you fix this problem? Well, first thing is you can do is pull down the control menu here, put your phone on airplane mode briefly which will do a network refresh when you turn it off so if you have a cellular or Wi-Fi connection impacting that time zone because the time zone is something that is required f internet connection you need to ensure that that's working so that's why you put the phone on airplane mode and see if that fixes for you now if it that doesn't fix it for you another thing I recommend is when you are looking to update your time zone automatically, make sure your phone is charged at least 20% or more. When it's lower than that, sometimes it doesn't um, work correctly because it needs to figure out the location of your ideal place or wherever you are in order to figure out the time zone of that location. Now, the next thing you wanna do if you're still having issues is go back into the main setting of your iPhone now in order for the time zone to work correctly as i mentioned it has to be connected to the internet either through wi-fi which works the best so make sure you're connected to wi-fi now if you don't have wi-fi if you do have a cellular data you want to ensure that cellular data is turned on which means this green toggle is on in order to for your phone to be connected to the internet now after you have done that the next thing you want to do in your settings here is go into your privacy and security here under location services you need to turn on location services so it's important that the location service is turned on along with that you also want to check under system services here where it says setting time zone is also turned on now if this is turned off you're not going to get that automatic time zone so ensure that that is turned on as well now after you have done that you want to go ahead and force restart your iPhone so in order to do a force restart there's a sequence of buttons you have to press first you're going to press and release the volume up followed by press and release the volume down then finally hold this side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the apple logo appear at that time you'll let go of that button so i'll do volume up volume down then i hold the side button just like that and you're not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown we're going to wait till the screen goes completely black and as you can see here, i'm still holding it for a few more seconds and once I see the Apple logo, I let go of that button. And what that will do is shut down the phone completely and the software and then reload the code. So if it's a software related issue impacting your iPhone, it will fix it for you. So this method is very effective. Now this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps still will be safe on your iPhone. And once you have done that, you can go back into your setting of your iPhone, go to uh, general and then date and time and now hopefully it is picking up for you now if it's still not working the next thing you want to do is reset the location uh, settings themselves so go into your setting of your iphone go to general and then go all the way down where it says transfer reset iphone and then click on reset and all we're going to do is a reset of location and privacy which will reset the settings of the location of privacy to default now this will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos will be safe just going to set that up and then once you do that that's done now the location and and the privacy setting has been reset you can go back into your iphone check general under date and time hopefully it is working for you now if it's still not working another trick that might work for you is in your setting of your iphone if you go into your calendar here there's a time zone override so by default it's turned off and it should be turned off but if you're finding that the time zone isn't working you can actually do a default override where you turn it on set the correct time zone here so here as you can see it already picks it up for me but if it doesn't set that up and then go back into your date and time see if that's working and over time of course this you want to turn that off because you don't want that but it might fix it for you lastly if it's still not working it's time to go ahead and update your phone software by going to setting of your iphone go to general software update and look to see if there's update available if there's update available it'll show up here click on update now when you do any sort of update make sure you give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for you to successfully update your phone make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged and of course has a good strong wi-fi or cellular data to successfully install the update and that's it in terms of fixing your iphone 
automatic time zone. Hopefully it is working for you now. If it is, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. But also if you found a better way to fix the problem as well, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.